Hi, and welcome to the first in a series of informational videos about nutrition and pancreatic cancer. These videos are being brought to you by Wellspring, in partnership with Pancreatic Cancer Canada. My name is Rachel Reed, and I'm a clinical dietitian specializing in the care of cancer patients at the Odette Cancer Centre in Toronto. I'm delighted to be able to share information with you about pancreatic cancer and nutrition. I will be providing a series of four short videos focusing on diabetes and pancreatic cancer treatment, pre-surgery nutrition, symptom management, and this video about the importance of pancreatic enzymes. We will be discussing the role of the pancreas, the causes of pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, and the signs of this insufficiency. As well, we will talk a bit about ways to take these enzymes and how to get the best function out of them. So let's get started. First, let's talk a little bit about the role of the pancreas. The pancreas is important for our digestion in two ways. Firstly, it produces enzymes that help us digest food. And second, it produces insulin to help us transfer glucose from the blood into our cells, where it is then used for energy. For this video, we're gonna focus on the enzyme production. The pancreas is an organ that lays right behind your stomach. Food enters the stomach and then travels into the intestine where it is met by pancreatic enzymes, which help break the food down. These enzymes essentially break down large food molecules into smaller ones, which are then able to be transported into our body. More specifically, these enzymes break down the larger protein, fat, and carbohydrate molecules into things like fatty acids, glucose, and amino acids. These enzymes are called proteases, amylase, and lipase. In the medical world, when someone is not producing enough pancreatic enzymes, we call it pancreatic insufficiency. Because the body cannot properly break down the food without these enzymes, this causes malabsorption and malnutrition. Pancreatic cancer is a common cause of pancreatic insufficiency, so patients should be aware of the signs of this condition. If you have pancreatic insufficiency, taking enzymes prescribed by a doctor will help you digest your food properly and prevent the symptoms and side effects. Some of the signs and symptoms of pancreatic insufficiency are foul-smelling gas or stools, large amounts of gas, floating stools or greasy or fatty looking stools, cramping after meals, feelings of indigestion, frequent stools, loose stools or diarrhea, light colored or pale stools, or unexplained weight loss. Sometimes these symptoms may be masked by other medications that a patient is taking. For example, narcotic pain medications are known to cause constipation, and often patients with pancreatic cancer are taking narcotic pain medications. Someone with pancreatic insufficiency may be experiencing diarrhea or loose stools from the malabsorption. However, when you combine the constipation from the pain medication and the diarrhea from the pancreatic enzyme insufficiency, it produces normal bowel function and may mask the signs of pancreatic insufficiency. So even though diarrhea is a very common side effect of malabsorption, it is not the only one, and it is important to look through all of these symptoms and consider the whole picture. If you or a family member with pancreatic cancer is having some of these side effects, I highly recommend that you speak with your healthcare team about your symptoms and explore whether pancreatic enzymes would be appropriate for you. If you have a prescription for enzymes, there are a few strategies to get the best function out of them. If you are taking multiple capsules at a meal, take one capsule at the beginning of the meal and then spread the rest throughout your meal. If prescribed by your doctor, take acid-reducing medication daily as this helps with the functioning of the enzymes. Don't take the enzymes at the same time as antacids or iron supplements. This is not a harmful combination, but it may make the enzymes less effective. Don't crush or chew the capsules, as this can cause irritation to your mouth. So how much of these enzymes should you be taking? Dosing is based on the units of lipase because the enzymes primarily help with fat digestion. When starting on enzymes, patients normally take 20,000 to 40,000 units of lipase per meal and 10,000 to 20,000 units per snack. However, this may differ depending on your doctor. You should then work with your healthcare team to increase the dose as necessary until your pancreatic insufficiency symptoms are either minimized or eliminated altogether. The maximum you should take is 2,500 units of lipase per kilogram body weight per meal, or 10,000 units per kilogram body weight per day. How does that work? Well, an 80 kilogram person's maximum dosage is 800,000 units per day, or 80 capsules of Creon Microspheres 10 daily, so there is lots of room to increase the dose if needed. You may be wondering what happens when you take too much of these enzymes. 
The side effects of taking too much are constipation, nausea, abdominal cramps, and or diarrhea, which as you may notice, are similar symptoms to inadequate enzyme use, post-surgical symptoms, and chemotherapy or radiation treatment symptoms. So it is always best to review your symptoms with your healthcare team to determine what the cause of your symptoms are. I hope you found this bit of information about pancreatic enzymes helpful. For more information, here's a list of additional resources where you can find more information. I look forward to seeing you soon.